Next up is an interview with uh, our second guest of the day today, uh, Will. Hello. So, oh, um, why are you here today, Will? Well, I, 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 um, I work on... I put, put this, this, uh, this. I think the mic's just feeding back. This one's enough, isn't it? This, sure this, is. this mic here. Yeah, I, I, I work with John on uh, We Don't Know, the show he's spoken about already, and also with um, The Wild Show, which is on a Thursday on Phonet FM in Exeter, between 10 and 12. The time slot that used to be the new Exeter radio show. A, a very short-lived show, sad to say, but uh, a model for us all. And um, I was a guest there, and uh, we've kept the time slot somehow between us. Um, Chris Norton, who comes, comes I think, to, to Cyril Hay quite often, he's the, he's the main presenter. But how can I put this? We're speaking very frankly today, aren't we, between friends? Yeah. And I can tell you that um, the, oh, buses, the, buses, the, buses, the buses aren't always reliable uh, between Countess Weir and Central Exeter, so I start the show. Usually, I, I do the bit between about 10 o'clock and 10.30, by which time Chris has normally arrived. So, um, that's, that's how I know about uh, Access All Aerials and Seal Hain. And I thought it was time to come and have a good look and find out what Chris is talking about. And uh, it's been... It's been he doesn't always know, does he? He's, he tells us things. He tells us things. Yeah, he knows. He knows what he's. He knows what he's talking about, pretty much. But it's hard to explain the, the full extent of access all aerials. We, yes. Um, how long have you been doing radio? I've been. I, well, I was. As I said, I started as a guest, and I gradually learnt more about it. So I've been filling in uh, the silences with talk for about four years. And I've been doing music and trying to minimise the gap to the next sound uh, for about two years. Have you always wanted to be on radio? Oh, yeah. I, since I listened to Radio Luxembourg quite a long time ago, I thought this is quite easy. It must be. And it would be a nice thing to do. <laughs> and the music sounds good. So, yeah, no, I thought about radio a long time, long time ago. Um, so, what would be your sort of ultimate ambition in radio, if you have one? Uh, I think a 24-hour streaming service of my best bits, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think radio is going in, going in, um, going in. Well, and and bits and bits I've nicked from other people, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, sh I should add bits I've bits I've taken from other people. One of my one one of well, all right. Well, I'm aiming I'm aiming towards it. One of my best programs on Spreaker, I do about a three minute introduction, and the rest of it is JD, his '80s show, and I just say what a very good show it is, and how it should be illustrated by a lot of of. Uh, graphics because um, I don't think there's enough integration of sound and vision and we've got we've got 80s shows there are other 80s Yay! shows available but JD's JD's is quite a good one and I think we should just look for some some images to go with that and we'd have an instant well it could either be a gallery or it could be a dance event venue doesn't really matter which way it would go uh, he can adjust the sound slightly either way he can make it a bit more corny. He could make it a bit more credible. And I'm sure if he can't do it, we'll get somebody else in. So that's, that's the scope of my ambition. That seems reasonable. I'm being faded out now. They're playing some music. You're very, very welcome.